Honey, can you think of a nicer, more homey smell than the smell of cookies baking in an oven? That is the most awesome smell in the world. It really is, right? <laughs> yeah. Makes you feel at home, like yeah. grandma's kitchen, something like that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. But most people don't get a chance to bake cookies while they're traveling. No, it's one of those things. People don't know, uh, they don't either don't use the oven or they are, they have a convection microwave oven and they have no idea how it works. Yeah, and you've told me you, you hear that question a lot. I hear that lot. from people all the time, especially at rallies. Like, would you have a seminar on convection microwave cooking? And I'm always up till now, I've been kind of like, I'd like to, but I don't know how it works either. <laughs> yeah. So a couple trips ago, I'm not sure where we were. Was it Borrego Springs? We decided to haul out the instruction manual yeah. and figure out how to use that convection oven. And so we want to show you now the easiest way to, well, not only, not only going to tell you how to use the oven, but the easiest way to take and bake chocolate chip cookies on your next Airstream trip. Okay, the first step is to make the dough before you leave on your trip because nobody wants to be making cookie dough while they're in their Airstream. You're not going to take this mixer, even a hand mixer is a lot. So I just used the classic Nestle Toll House cookie recipe of my childhood and made up some dough ahead of time. Now, after I made the dough, I prepared it for the trip by making it into these little logs. Uh, this is a trick I learned from my mom and Rich and I use it all the time. I, I make an entire, sometimes I'll even double the recipe of cookie dough and then I fashion it into these little logs and we stick them in the freezer so that after dinner we can just slice them up and have six, eight cookies fresh baked out of the oven. It's just nice um, for us to do, especially on a cold winter night. So now you're in your Airstream on your fabulous trip and it's time to make cookies. So here's what you need to do to use the convection oven to do that. First of all, the most important thing is you need to have this metal tray. It comes with your convection microwave oven and it's a specially designed tray that's got rubber on the bottom, which will keep it in place as the turntable moves when the convection is on. And that's key to making sure that your, your food bakes, and in this case cookies, bake evenly. Uh, you need this oven mitt, as I learned, it gets really hot, just like a regular oven, to take it out. Also, this came with your microwave. You use it for a couple of different things, uh, mostly for grilling, but I found it was great to use as a cooling rack to put the cookies on. Plus, it looks kind of cute when you do that. Uh, you need a spatula, of course. I have a cutting board here, a surface just to um, cut my um, dough on. And then the last thing you need is the dough that we made before you left. Um, if you kept it in your freezer, Thaw it out before you do all of this. Um, if you kept it in the fridge, let it get a little bit warm. So you want it to be cool and not too soft, but not too cold. So let me show you how to preheat the oven. I will save you loads of time reading the instructions. It's three buttons and here's how it works. The first button you need to push is the convection button. That starts the convection function and turns off the microwave function. Then you need to push the button that corresponds with the temperature of what you're going to bake. In our case, we want to cook, bake these at 375. That corresponds with the number eight. Push eight. The little numbers are under there. You'll see them. And then you just push start. That's all there is to it. So convection, temperature, and start. What's going to happen is you'll see this progress bar on the left. It'll keep heading to the right while it's preheating. When the oven is preheated, the temperature, in this case 375, will flash. And you will have five minutes to enter the number of minutes that you're going to bake for. Okay, we're ready to put some cookies on the uh, pan. Got your roll here. You know how normally you just do rounded teaspoonfuls? Well, I just usually guess, that's about right. This is a nonstick surface, so you don't need to spray it with anything. One less thing you need to take with you in your Airstream. Uh, there's about room for four, I'm gonna guess. Um, that's what I've done in the past, so. There's four. Maybe we could squeeze a fifth one in, but I think we'll leave it at four. Now, while we're waiting for that uh, oven to still preheat, you have to do a conversion of the time to bake from the recipe to the time for a convection oven. It's about 25% less than what your recipe calls for for a regular oven. So these cookies are supposed to bake for nine minutes at 375. I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna bake them for seven minutes. And you need to have that time ready because when that uh, oven preheats, you wanna enter that number and hit start again, and I'll show you how to do that so that your cookies can go in the oven. All right, we are ready to bake because the oven is preheated. How do we know that? It's flashing. Also, it does beep. So we got a little beep, now it's flashing. Got my four cookies ready to go. So 
put them in. Let's see, here we go. Kind of, you'll hear it turn off. Put it, center it on the turntable. Close it. And now you want to just enter the minutes. Remember we said it's seven. Start. So open the door, put them in, the number of minutes, and start. That's all there is to it. Um, pretty soon we're going to have cookies. All right, so let's how, see how they look. They look great. Brown around the edges, and I like them light on the top because they're kind of doughy inside. So fantastic. Cookies in your convection microwave. All right, here is the final test, right? Our cookies look like this. Oop, they slid. The final test is how do they taste? So they let's look fantastic. do it. All right, we're going to try it right now. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh my God. It's perfect. So good. And mm -hmm. you know what? I like them. I mean, they're still browns, you can see. But I like them a little gooey around the top. They mm -hmm. are perfect. Yeah, just need more chocolate chips next time. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I went light on the chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what did we learn? Mm. I think we learned three main things here. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is so easy. It Using is. that oven. It was really easy. They make it seem so complicated. It's I not. think we've all, I mean, I know I've always been intimidated by any convection oven, even in my home oven. I never used that setting. It is so, so easy. What, you know, just review the video and walk, just, it's a couple buttons. Yeah, it's really not hard at all. Another thing. Mm. The other thing is, you can't peek in the oven to see if the cookies are done as you're going. You can't, can't open it. You can't open it and you can't really see through the door very well. So you have to take it on faith. And if you open the door at the end of the cycle, after it beeps, everything's done, timer runs out. If you find the cookies are a little bit underdone, as we did on one of the batches, the simple solution is to close the door again, restart the preheat pre cycle, mm -hmm. and just let it run for another minute or so. And that should be enough time to finish the cookies the way you want them to. Yeah, and they were just right. And that actually only happened once um, yeah. as we were sort of testing this. So yeah, and we did that and boom, it was fixed. And then the last thing I would just make a reminder, which is you have to uh, let the preheat cycle go through you'll complete before you can open the door, put in your cookies and punch in the number for the time. If you open it too soon, it won't even allow you to press the number for the time. For the so you'll time. think, oh, it doesn't work. It works, but you have to wait for the preheat. Okay. So to the preheat complete. cycle has to be completely done. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And that's basically it. So we hope that you'll use your convection oven. Maybe you'll put some comments in the video field about what you baked in your oven. And um, yeah. we're going to just keep eating these cookies. I think we're going to be eating cookies all summer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see you on the road. See you on the road.